Thank you to Pactura for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my studio vlog! Today I thought we'd do something that has been really familiar on this channel but also in a slightly different format because we're not doing a new project. Usually when I do a come with me, draw with me, make something with me video, I would start off um, explaining the brief to you like what the prompt for say a competition is or what I aim to create for this project etc etc. But since this project is technically um, an ongoing project, I'm just continuing along uh, the project that has, that has been in progress for a while. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do it quite the same way. I think I will still explain the brief and kind of catch you up on what has been going on so far and what we will do for the rest of this video. So that's kind of um, my aim for this video. I expect this video to be recorded across days. Uh, I think I'm not going to get too much into it today because I had a late start to the day. But I will probably catch you up on what's been going on um, and where do we go from here. So this is actually a client project. The client is actually a friend of mine. So the project basically is to create a packaging for a pet shampoo brand that my friend created. Let's get into the details a little bit more as I walk you through the process so far. Let's go! Okay, let me tell you a little bit about the project and how it started. So basically, I was just hanging out with my friend one day and then he told me he was developing a cat shampoo brand and he needed me to design the packaging for that. Uh, at first, he didn't really tell me about a lot of the details, he just said that the uh, shampoo was anti-flea and he wanted a few mandatory things for the design. So he showed me this reference uh, and basically what he wanted from this reference was first the illustration of the cat. He wanted uh, an illustration for uh, the packaging and he wanted icons of the benefits to be displayed on the front side of the packaging. So uh, that's pretty much it, that's all he told me. Uh, and also the brand doesn't have a logo yet, so it's free to explore on that font as well. And he also wanted to highlight the ingredients of the product, and they wanted it to be pretty prominent. Basically, there are, those are the three things that I needed to keep an eye on. Uh, the illustration, the product benefits, and the ingredients. This was mostly verbal, so I just started sketching uh, the kind of uh, layout and illustration that I thought would be interesting. Um, this is the sketch that I made for this project. Uh, I tried to make it as contrasting and as polar opposites as possible. Um, I came up with two particularly different layouts and different feel uh, design-wise and also different uh, design direction for the illustrations and ultimately my friend chose the first uh, illustration the cat and the second layout so I kind of had to mix them up uh, like that and I decided to just jump in digitally for that this was I think in March or so yeah so this project has been going on for quite a while so the first thing I did was mix the illustration and the layout that he chose and came up with this design which originally uh, came to be because he told me he would use like a dark colored bottle so I thought I would make the label a, a contrasting color to that but then he changed his mind and decided to go with a white bottle and so this would look a little too similar to the bottle and had to change it up uh, and so then I came up with this layout and I decided to already uh, incorporate the back of the packaging and divide the packaging into three segments uh, and then I came up with this logo to go with that layout but then my friend and I met up and we took a look at the existing packagings out there and it turns out like three segments is probably too much for a shampoo and so I decided to just um, make it divide it into two segments as for the logo because um, so at first uh, as you can see 
uh, I emphasized the cat shampoo instead of the brand and we decided to change that up and you put the brand uh, as prominently as possible in the layout so unfortunately even though we both really like this logo we had to let it go and come up with a different logo that fits the layout better the next update that my friend told me was that the shampoo will come in eight variants and which means I would have to create a packaging system for all these other variants as well um, and come up maybe with other illustrations for the cats uh, while also still retaining a lot of the elements that will make them feel like one entity. The thing that my friend wanted to do was to incorporate the color of the bottle into the uh, packaging to make it feel more seamless um, because to actually have the labels cut in like a specific uh, shape it would either cost more or it's not possible to do uh, domestically so um, we decided to just work around the design to kind of uh, create that illusion and so that's kind of where we are uh, right now this is the latest design this is what it looks like right now I think my friend and I are already pretty uh, happy with this design. I think there are some little changes that I would need to make, um, but overall this is already like the layout template that we like, it's already the logo that we like. And now my task is to translate this design across all the other variants as well. Which by the way has been cut down from 8 to 5, so that really saves off a lot of my time. Um, but yeah, so I still need to come up with first the illustration of all the cats for the other variants because I want the cats to look similar enough so that people can really identify that this is the cat for this particular brand, but also different enough so that people can see that it is a different variant or at least, you know, like add a little fun element to the, to the packaging. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. Probably will uh, explore the illustration of this cat today uh, to see how many poses I can do with this cat uh, and um, make sure that I keep the consistency of the cat's design overall. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Let's go! kind of swamped with other things and this project has kind of gone to the wayside so sorry about that but yeah I had like an event for work I had to stand by for like a whole weekend uh, and then I also had to prepare an artwork for an upcoming exhibition with an NGO who invited me um, by the time you were watching this though the exhibition would have gone by and if so I will link the detail of the exhibition and some recaps down below hopefully um, so yeah that's kind of what's been happening in my life so far other than that I think the last time you saw me I was making some sketches for the cat illustration for the Sunday's shampoo packaging uh, and I think I'm just gonna pick it up from there and finalize the illustrations and pick out which ones I want to use for the next variants um, but my client says that I should just do one variant at a time so I think I'm going to focus on the next variant in this uh, product line so that's kind of my goal today to finalize that not just the illustration but also the packaging design for the next variant and if that goes well, if I manage to finish all of that today, the next step would be to create a presentation deck to submit to my client. To paint a good picture, a well-rounded picture of the packaging, I would also include mock-ups of the packaging, what it would look like when printed and um, applied to the bottle. So I will show you how to do that as well. And I think we'll just like take it a step at a time um, and get the progress moving forward. Okay, let's get going! We 
with new variants, I usually try to determine the color first. Like say I want to use blue, but there's a lot of blues out there. So I usually use this website called Colors or Coolers. I will leave a link to that down below. Um, and I just use different color combinations to see which blues stand out the most to me. And in the end, I guess I choose this blue, which is pretty stand out, pretty uh, bold and kind of like edit it out in Illustrator. And once that's done, I just put in the illustration that I recently finished to the layout design. And voila, that's what it looks like now. Hi! So I finished the first illustration for the next packaging variant. Uh, I really like how it turns out and I really like the color combination that I chose as well. I've already put the illustration in the layout design, so so far so good. I think like the next step, as I mentioned earlier, I would assemble the presentation deck to be submitted to my client. And for that, I will show you how to make the mock-up for this particular packaging. I think I'm going to save that for another day. For today, aside from the illustration in itself, I think I'm going to continue a little bit with other elements from the layout design that I haven't finished yet. And then I'm also going to try to finish the other illustrations that I sketch as like options for my client. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to film that. Um, it's gonna take way too long. And frankly, vlogging while working really takes away a lot of my concentration. I just keep thinking whether the camera is angled right, if it captures like the right bit of footage, and or if the battery, if the camera battery is dying. So I think I will just do it on my own time, if you don't mind. Thank you so much for being here. And if I don't see you again, I guess I'll see you the next day. Happy Monday! It has been such an eventful weekend, but now I'm ready to get back to work and uh, namely to the packaging that we've been creating sort of kind of together <laughs> throughout this whole vlog. I think today I'm going to finally make that mock-up. I'll show you how to do it um, and then put it on the deck to be sent to my friend slash Client. Why do we even need to make mock-ups? I find that mock-ups are really important to paint the picture um, to the client on how your design will actually look like on their products. And it helps you check whether your design will look good on the packaging itself. And you know, make like little tweaks here and there if need be. Um, this is kind of like the last check before um, you send them to the client and they might even go to production. It's a really good way to quality control your designs before anything concrete happens, basically. To do that, to make the mock-up, we're going to use Pacmora today, which I have mentioned earlier as a sponsor to this video. And I'll show you how. Let's go! Okay, so I have my designs right here. I have two designs that I need to put into a mock-up. After leaving these designs for a while, it turns out they're pretty similar in design language. I'm very happy about that because I was worried for, about that for a second. Here we open Pactora.com. This is a great website um, for creating packaging templates, die lines, and mockups that you can use um, to create packaging designs. You can see they have like over 4,900 packaging mockups available. Yeah, they have all kinds of um, packaging mock-ups, boxes, food packaging, pouch, bottles, jars, what have you. Um, for this purpose, I need a bottle or jug uh, mock-up. So here we go. So here you can see all types of uh, packaging bottles that you can choose from. Um, and you can see which one that fits mo mostly to what you want or what your client wants. Um, I think let's just keep it simple. I need a pump bottle, so let's just go straight to that. Wow, there's like really a lot of mock-ups. This is really great. Uh, actually not surprised because I've been using Pactora for a while. I wasn't uh, subscribed before, but even, even if you just want to take a look, you can learn a lot from Pactora, really. 
but obviously if you want to like create mockups that you can download and use for text or um, production documents i guess you can always benefit from their subscription packages let's see okay i think this is kind of what my client was looking for okay there we go oh my god look at that so beautiful you can even see it from like a 360 oh, oh oh my god you can even do this i didn't know about that that is amazing okay it turns out this bottle is a lot more like a lot thinner than i thought let's see if we have another bottle that's similar to that uh maybe this one let's see the 360 look of the packaging that you choose can really help you decide whether or not it's like the right packaging for you because sometimes packagings look really round but turns out to be pretty thin like the one i showed you before maybe more like this one um but actually like there is like my one go-to place for packaging explorations they help me visualize what the packaging will actually look like uh, in the end and that's really helpful to be honest Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one because the uh, labels will only go so far. Even though the packaging itself might look more like this one or this one. Um, but since the label here is kind of like the whole body and according to my client, uh, the label that he's going to print out will only reach as far as this. Even though the bottle will look kind of different in color. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just going to use this one for now. There's actually another one that was really good. Wait, what was it? This one? No, wait, let's start with this and see if it makes sense. If it doesn't, then I probably will try this one. Uh, my camera battery is running out, so I hope it doesn't cut off before uh, I show you the entire process. Let's try the previous design first. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Is it possible to get a different size? Oh yeah. You can try other sizes. Maybe it's more like a 300 milliliter one. Oh yeah, this is probably more what I'm looking for. Finally. Exactly. Okay, cool. Just gonna save it for now. Huh, wait, maybe let's try this one. Oh god, no, they don't have another size. What about this one? Okay, let's see. Oh no. Okay, um, goodbye. Um, oh, oh. Interesting. I thought I'd like to export this and apparently you can export it as a uh, mock-up in like JPEG or PNG uh, and into different sizes. You can even get the die line um, in whatever format you need. There's even like a video that you can download to really show um, 360 look of your packaging design. You can even code it if you want to put it like on your website or whatever. Is really great or Shopify page apparently or you can share it maybe with others so that your client can have a full experience of your design um, for this purpose I think I'm just going to um, download the PNG version because I just really need to put it on the deck I'm considering the video um, 360 look of the design as well that would actually be a good way to show your design in full and have no worry that um, it might get stolen so this is what the video looks like i mean how cool is that and i think i'm going to insert the other design as well just to create that same mock-up so this is what i found i should do to make the design look more seamless let's save that and show you what it looks like I mean, isn't that gorgeous? Oh wait, the roof is kind of cut off. 
let me just adjust that real quick. And I think that should do it. And this is a mock-up, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but if you're like a perfectionist, I suppose, um, <laughs> that's kind of what you need to do. So that's what it looks like on the bottle. And look at this, all that twirling action, oh my god. I'm not like about showmanship very much, so I think it's gonna pick this one. And just to show the 360 look of it all. And export that. And I will also export the um, image of the mock-up as well. To export this, you need to pick okay which side do I want to show and then export it. It's really pretty simple, right? So that's pretty much it for the mock-up that I've created. Uh, after this, I'm gonna do the deck as well. So I'll walk you through that. Okay, so here's the deck. Uh, as you can see, there's like a lot of other prior slides. This has been a long project in the making. Usually with my decks, if it's like in the middle of the project, I love to have this like one slide that reminds the client what the progress was. So they have an expectation of what they can find in this deck as they go through it. Um, so this is what happened last time. Um, for this variant, my client already likes a lot of the elements. Um, I suppose there was like some little tweaks to do, like the color of the variant cube per se. And this part, the client agreed with me that the ingredients, the little icon here, like the fungal one, um, should really just highlight the benefit of the hero ingredient since the hero ingredient isn't um, very common. And then I usually will just um, show the design that has been tweaked um, since I was going through some color explorations in the previous deck. Wait, sorry, I cannot talk and deck at the same time. Um, since I explored the color in the last deck, uh, I have like a whole color palette here, um, but I don't think I'm going to show that anymore. So let's change this to the latest design that I have. And voila, it's already changed. Um, I think I'm gonna like point out some of the details as I did in my previous deck. To make it easier, I usually just like copy paste a lot of the elements to save up time for myself as well. Okay, and then maybe this is like around the time I'm going to insert the mock-ups that we just made. Here's the mock-up. Wait, let me just like place that real nice. Uh -huh. Maybe over here. Nice. Um, yeah. Okay. Wait, let me see. I'm just gonna send that back. And then I'm also going to insert the video mock-up that I also exported. Um, fun fact, I actually created a GIF version of the video so that it can like, play on a loop inside the deck which is perfection. And then we're going to insert the other design as well. Let go of that. Uh, and also the mock-up for the new variant. Voila and voila. Um, and then as like a comparison, I put in a summary. Oh my god, hi Bobon. Um, and you can see, yeah, there's like the old variant and the new variant side by side. Well, they make sense as like one entity or so. So I think I'll end the vlog right here. Thank you so much for watching. It has been really fun creating this packaging design with you guys. I know I don't usually do like a mid-project vlog thing, but I hope there's still something that you can take away from the experience and or at least you find it, you know, interesting. I definitely did feel like it was a lot of fun. If you're going to design your own packaging, I would highly recommend using Packadora.com. I mean, their 4,900 plus mock-ups is just insane. And their capability of showing you like the 360 look of your potential packaging can really help you uh, tweak your design accordingly. If you're going to use Packdora, you can use my code ALIVE to get 20% of your subscription. That's A-L-I-V-E, ALIVE.
Um, and I hope you'll have fun, you know, creating your own packagings for maybe your client or yourself. Uh, it's really tricky, I think, with packagings because you kind of need to see what the end product is going to look like, but you cannot risk printing it right away. So Pecadora can be like a lot of help for you. Thank you so much for watching. I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.